So most of you are probably aware from the Facebook page, but I did a thing. I picked up this Elegu Neptune 2. It was $109 after coupon code. I couldn't resist. It's just a standard 2, but I already upgraded it. Before I even powered it up, I upgraded it. It's got the metal extruder from the Neptune 3. Capricorn tube. Silicone bed spacers and insulating mat. Obviously, PEI sheet with the Neptune 3 magnet. <laughs> and the filament sensor, I designed this little block for it to sit a little bit higher because of the hole location. And I used the bearing from the original plastic extruder because it's the exact same bearing as it is being used in the filament guide for the Neptune 3. Still have to put lights on it, but it seems like a good little workhorse. I haven't had any major issues with it, but here's... <laughs> See if you guys could figure this one out. I have no idea what the hell is going on with this. So, I got it up and going. That was weird. Look at that. Mm. So, I got it up and going, and I printed my first part without even checking the E steps, not even thinking to check the E steps. I got a part, and it delaminated, obviously, because there was an issue with the. E-steps. So I figured I would do an E-step calibration. I plugged the USB into my laptop and I ran it through Repetier. And my E-step calibration went from 90 to 334. I don't know why. But after I did that, printed part after part after part, and they kept coming out perfect. So I switched over... To the SD card instead of the USB because I didn't want the USB across the floor and it was over extruding by about I don't know 300% so then I tried it again with the USB another perfect print switched over to the MKS Pi another perfect print same program put that same exact program back onto the SD card and it was over extruding again. So I plugged the USB, well, I had the USB plugged into the Pi, but then I loaded up Octoprint and I did another extrusion test. And lo and behold, I had to set it back to 138 steps. Plug in the SD card, perfect print. I haven't tried to run that same program back through the USB again, but I do not know what the hell is going on. So if you guys could figure that out, please let me know in the comments because I am just so perplexed at the moment. But future endeavors for this machine, when I assembled it, I actually assembled it with the non elegu rail. I, I used one of my X-axis linear guide kits that I have laying around and that should uh, foreshadow what's going to occur with this machine, much like my happily chugging Neptune 3. But future plan, going to do linear guides just like the other machine, going to do BL Touch. Going to eventually probably switch this over to Clipper as a test bed for the three as well. I'd like to at least give it a shot and see how well it works on these machines. But ultimately I got this as a guinea pig and it's turning out to be helpful with one of the parts that I'm doing because I'm making a multicolor. I'll show you. Making a multicolor cube for teaching people five-axis planar transformations.
for my day job. So with all the color swaps, it's nice to have a second machine laying around. But yeah, if you guys could figure out what the heck is going on with that E-Step thing, that would be greatly appreciated because I have no idea. I am super confused at the moment. But that's all for this video. I just wanted to kind of show off the new member of the Elegoo family. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.